Oh, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Advent series and have I got a treat for you today. A treat for you and indeed, one hell of a treat for me, man. This is unbelievable. Oh, we're going on a, a photo walk here in the Cairngorms in this incredible Scottish winter wonderland. I am absolutely buzzing. You can probably see the sunlight as well through the trees. Oh, conditions are absolutely gorgeous, man. Now, before we get into today's walk and to today's photography adventure, I wanted to say a massive thank you to Valorette for sponsoring today's video. Now, a lot of you will have heard of Valorette. It's a wonderful company that makes these mint winter photography gloves. So a little bit of a niche, I suppose, but it is our niche. These are made with outdoor photographers in mind and they're absolutely brilliant. We all know the annoyance of wearing normal gloves for our photography. You're forever taking them off, putting them back on just so you could use your gear. And this is where Valorette photography gloves are quality. Throughout the whole of your photo shoot, there's no need to take these gloves off just because of these little finger caps. So that is it there. Pop it back on as easy as that. Take it off if you want to use your gear and they've got these little magnets look, it just clips into place and there's one on the thumb as well. And the model that I'm wearing are called the Markov Pro version threes. These are probably my favorites. I feel like they're a really good all rounder, but head over to their website, it's photographygloves.com and check out all the different types of gloves they've got to suit, you know, all different types of winter. But yeah, for me in the UK, I feel that these are absolutely spot on. Valorette have been kind enough to give me a free shipping code for you lot and that is simply just the word Henry. So definitely make use of that. It will be in the video description below. And yeah, another massive thank you for them for supporting my channel with today's sponsorship. So I'm trying to have one of these photography shoots, these photography wonders really, where I'm just trying to keep my expectations to a minimum, even with such beautiful conditions. I think every now and again, it's really important to do these sorts of walks uh, or these photo shoots just really deliberately, make a conscious effort to do it or else you just go out all the time raging, or I do anyway, <laughs> where I just feel like I'm a failure. So fingers crossed I can keep that up. Usually I can't, <laughs> usually I get too excited, but yeah, I'm gonna try my best just to take it easy more than anything. Oh, that's not gonna go well because I'm in. You may be able to see the mountains, oh. So this is, this is exactly, exactly the sort of photography that I had in mind for today's little adventure. And maybe not the image as such, I'm getting something nice and abstract down here in all of this ice, but I guess just the act of photography, for me, the past 30 minutes have just been spent up and down this beautiful little woodland burn here. Ah, just exploring all these abstracts and these textures and patterns in all of this ice and ultimately, you know what, I just feel so calm and so present. So I've been playing around with a few different compositions, but I've settled on one really specific area of this ice that just feels really clean and tidy, quite simply. And I think actually it's really important to mention without sounding too patronizing sometimes i feel like i'm coming across that way but i don't mean it like that but in these sorts of scenarios you've still got to find a photograph man what i mean is don't just point your lens down at the ice and hope for the best you might get lucky <laughs> but i mean part of the fun of it as well for me is still trying to find a photograph trying to find a composition so i'm still thinking of things like balance and contrast in this case between 
the blacks and the whites. I'm still thinking about focal length and aspect ratios. You know, all of this stuff is still so important despite it being a real intimate and abstract photograph. And I suppose the main thing still is, what is it that you're photographing? You know, what is it? And for me here, it is these incredible abstract patterns of all of this ice. So we've got the 24 to 200 millimeter lens on and, and I'm in at about, about 120 millimeters. So we're really far in. And yeah, I've just found this really nice section that, that is very pleasing to my eye at least. I've stuck the camera in monochrome because I mean, it's, it's pretty much a black and white anyway. So I think that's just gonna add to that contrast. And yeah, all in all, just a nice calm photograph, I think. So I do think, I think winter is, I think it's the perfect time to just slow down a little bit with your photography. Those sorts of images where you're getting abstract -y, sort of intimate shots, textures and patterns. Um, I think it's just better in the winter as well, because I mean, there's obviously a lot more texture, but I think in a sort of more, more of a general sense, I guess, without going off on a tangent, I feel like winter's, designed for, for us to just slow down a little bit anyway as humans i guess historically that's what we'd have done you know summer i guess would have been all go making sure that you're preparing yourself for winter in terms of survival and then yeah i suppose your winter for the most part would have just been spent relaxing not, not relaxing but you know winding down a little bit very naturally and yeah i don't know in a weird way to come back around to photography. Maybe that's quite an interesting point. You know, winter's the time to just relax a little bit. Although, to be honest, I'd be a terrible example of that. It's starting to break through, oh my God. I'm just feeling pretty relaxed today. So you can probably see the sun is just glimmering through every now and again, and we're walking towards the light. And that, I mean, look at that through there, incredible. That's kind of what I've got my, my hopes and my mind set on at the minute, just to try and use this light because I mean there really isn't that much of it this time of year up in the highlands well all over Britain really but up in the highlands even more so there must be only what like seven hours of daylight or something so that'll be gone soon enough and it, it is looking beautiful glimmering amongst all of that snow man so I've been stopped here for I don't know man about 15 20 minutes and again same as where I was photographing the ice back there a second ago it's just been fun. It's been so fun. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to get a shot here <laughs> in saying that because uh, I don't know. I mean, what attracted me in the first place, it's moved on a little bit now, but I could show you. You see all the light sort of streaming in down there on the snow. I mean, look at that as the sun. There we go. As he just sort of peeks through all of the trees, it was almost quite dramatic. And then I've just been trying to, I suppose, compose a certain amount of these tree trunks from left to right, trying to keep it clean and tidy. But it's quite difficult because if you look at all of the, 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 the sort of understory, the woodland floor, it's very messy. It's almost like, it's almost like there's not quite enough snow, you know, with all of the, the, the blacks, the shadows peeking up through the bottom. Um, so yeah, but I feel all right about it. Um, and I'm just gonna move on. It's so peaceful. It's absolutely lovely. So I just met a couple of blokes that were out on a walk and they said to me, further down here, it gets really enclosed, dense woodland, probably like you could see there. They weren't wrong, <laughs> which I guess is a bit of a shame because, you know, I'm wanting the light, that beautiful sunlight. However, they said eventually, 
I don't know when, maybe after like 20 minutes or something, it starts opening out and they said that's where they've come from and that it's beautiful. There's loads more space, you get mountain views. Um, so whilst still trying to stay nice and relaxed, I'm just picking up the pace a little bit. Still thoroughly enjoying the walk. I mean, what is not to like? This is beautiful. But yeah, I am pretty keen to get to that little section because it sounds really appealing. So I've never had this before, but the, the top of my tripod has freezed over, completely iced over. So when you put the camera in, it's like sliding about all over the place. So you gotta be careful, especially me. I don't want another broken camera, but I mean, to be fair, it is around minus seven this afternoon. So that's probably why. Now I've, I've been enjoying this walk. It's so tranquil. And I hadn't even realized that I was doing this or wasn't doing this and that is not looking at the maps. Usually I'm like flat out on my phone looking at Ordnance Survey maps, looking for features and subjects. And today I just, I just haven't. And perhaps that plays into what this afternoon was all about for me really, just relaxing and enjoying the moment, being in the present moment, you know. And I've just stumbled across this beautiful little lock in here, which was completely unexpected because I wasn't checking the maps. We got some really nice light hitting some of the Cairngorm Mountains off in the background. That'll be the last of the day's light. And I'm just trying a couple of different shots, a few different aspect ratios, pretty simple stuff. All I'm doing really is zooming back in towards that light, trying to include a little bit of the loch and down at the bottom of the frame. And of course, a few of these trees, these kind of snow laden trees looking beautiful. And actually a fair bit of cloud has come in as well, which is completely and utterly adding to this scene and to this composition. Now we have lost the light on the land on these trees and stuff, which is a bit of a shame. But, I've got a little bit of a trick up my sleeve. So yeah, the old drone up in the air. <laughs> Always so good just to be able to get any angle that you want on the landscape. So I'll show you what I'm filming now and I'll talk you through the idea that I've got. So I'm thinking about doing a vertical panorama. So starting basically, basically up here where we've got, of course, that beautiful sky. Nice to have a bit of detail up there. The mountains there with the light, the last of that evening light, like I was saying when we were shooting that image with the Z7 a couple of seconds ago. And then what I'm going to do is angle the camera or the gimbal downwards and just keep taking photographs. Or in fact, this drone does it automatically, which is mint. And then just incorporate our Lachen down there in the foreground, something along those lines anyway. And oh man, I just think that's going to look mint. To be fair, do you not think that looks like a fish? <laughs> I've just looked at it then. At the bottom right hand side, is the tail and then the head is over on the top left. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm going a bit mad <laughs> with all the snow, but I think um, a straight shot of the loch or the lochen will look really nice as well. So monochrome, isn't it? I'll tell you what, it's mad how differently the environment around you reacts when it's this cold, like it's minus eight or minus nine now, it's freezing. And yeah, it reminds me of when I lived in Canada where like your breath just freezes on things pretty, pretty instantaneously. Like my viewfinder at the minute is pretty much useless um, because it's just like a little, it's got like a thin bit of ice on it. I suppose I could wipe it off, but yeah. I don't know. But yeah, that, that's mad. Don't often get that, at least where I live. Yeah, I notice it with my camera gear as well. Things just keep getting stuck, only for like a quick split second, but you know, like your 
ball head gets stuck and you've got to just like give it a little wobble. <laughs> Everything just keeps freezing, man. It's actually, it's such a novelty, it's brilliant. Now for this image, which is likely going to be the last one of the day, I think I'm going to like this one as well. We've just got this, this, this bunch of deciduous trees, which you haven't really had all day. Just all the wonderful sort of Scots pines, which are <laughs> amazing in their own right. But um, this is nice, man. The, the trees are just covered in this snow, which is just going nowhere at the minute because I guess it's just not getting above freezing day or night. But um, again, a bit of a broken record, I suppose, but we're getting a lovely contrast once again between warm light and cold light. And I'm zooming in about 100 millimeters and just trying to isolate one section of the tops of these trees. And it's brilliant because they're set against the backdrop of the warm setting sun. Really vibrant colors up there is brilliant. But yeah, it's F9, ISO 64 and 1 13th of a second. Um, I did, again, quickly grab a handheld shot just in case, but the light stuck around. So I've got the tripod out just so I can bring my ISO down a little bit. But I think that I'm gonna like this one. And in fact, although I was saying I didn't have any expectations or anything, I did, I was still sort of visualizing sorts of the sorts of things that I'd like to photograph. And yeah, I guess this is probably what I had in mind for this evening's adventure. I really hope you enjoyed this little adventure anyway, ladies and gents, and thank you so much for following along on my little advent series. Please do hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you get notified for all of these uploads. One video every day throughout advent, all the way up till Christmas Eve. And thank you so much for all of your kind, lovely comments. I appreciate it very, very much. It keeps me motivated. And um, yeah, I am thoroughly enjoying this and I hope you are too. But thanks for tuning in and I shall see you on the next adventure, which at this stage, I don't have a clue where that's gonna be. Out.